Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here. It is 2.49 p.m. on January 31st, 2024 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 14 degrees outside on an overcast afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.5 kilometers starting by the Transit bus stop at West Hastings in Granville, then shall southwest on Howe, ending my trek by the Transit bus stop at Davie and Howe. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey you folks, Jerome Forsford here. Down at the intersection of Howe and West Pender Street. I'm just waiting for the light to change. There we go, it's our turn, so let's go. And in this walk we're gonna head on down Howe and over to Davy Street. one of those Emerita environmental trucks. One of our local waste companies here in Vancouver. There's several of them, including GFL and waste management, and even more than that. It's a very a much more diversified environment over here as opposed to over in my hometown of Toronto, where now it's primarily waste management and GFL. But hey, that's how we roll out here in Vancouver. <laughs> it's funny how there's more competition for waste management companies out here than there is in the larger cities. Very interesting. We'll keep walking here on how. Just passing by the whole Renfrew section of the CF Pacific Center. And we'll keep walking here along Howe Street. You can see the main section of the CF Pacific Center over here. And this would be the intersection of Dunsmere and Howe. There's a slight rain today. We're currently walking where the cloud, where the center of the storm is. So for about 40 to 60 minutes, we'll only have the occasional raindrop fall. But of course, have to trust the umbrella just in case we need it. Just waiting for the lights to change. Just a few more seconds. And here we go. It should be changing pretty soon. <laughs> cool. Oh, looks like I might have to open that umbrella sooner than I thought. Who would have thought rain in Vancouver? Whoa. <laughs> We're walking along the CF Pacific Center Mall right now, and uh, over here we'll walk past the old, empty uh, Nordstrom section as well. And of course, over here in Vancouver, we're all hoping that an Ikea moves in, a downtown Ikea moves in to the Nordstrom, but uh, 
who knows what's really gonna happen. <laughs> but that would be really cool. <laughs> Let's change the camera back. So we won't get to that Nordson section yet, but over here we'll be passing the Apple Store very, very soon. And up ahead would be West Georgia Street. And the hotel across the street would be the Rosewood Hotel Georgia. You'd see the old Hotel, hotel Georgia sign there. Right on over here. <laughs> Two clicks and we're back down. And over on this side, that would be the Apple Store right there. You can see a few people heading on in right now. There's several entrances and two clicks and we're back down. The one being outdoor right here at the intersection of Powell and West Georgia. Here are people in there trying to try and get something out of it. That's what camera is like. Just waiting for a formerly four-footed friend. <laughs> Now a three-footed friend that's still making their way. <laughs> <Crap. laughs> Lovely dog there. Fortunately only has three legs, but uh, looks like managing pretty well, so good on you owner. <laughs> good on you. Raising a happy dog. Let's keep walking here. This would be the section over here where the Nordstrom store used to be and is no longer. This would be the back side of it here on Howe Street. You can also see the entrance to the parking center right here. And you'll often find staff members out here from all over the CF Pacific Center just to Enjoying this underhang or break from the mall. Sometimes having a smoke. Sometimes just drinking a milk tea or coffee or something like that. Across the street, that's Ratson Square and the Vancouver Art Gallery. Let's keep going here. Ah, looks like I might have to open that umbrella after all. We'll see. There's plenty of awnings along the way here, so. We'll play a bit here. <laughs> we'll keep a walk in here. This is the intersection of Robson Street and Howe Street. And of course, if we're at Robson and Howe, that would be Robson Square across the street from there. Looks like the canopy is going through its light transition. Very cool. Lots of colors right now over there. That would be the light display that hangs over top of Robson Square right now. And it's our turn, so we'll go. Sounds like our local buskers have set up shop now. Good to hear. I'll keep walking here. Over here, there's Sport Check and Chipotle. And a series of other restaurants as well. I'll even pass a Waves coffee shop. One of my second choices here in the city of Vancouver. Blends being my first. Though, <laughs> the difference between a Blends and a Waves is just my personal preference. So, you know, if Waves is your favorite brand here in Vancouver. Good on you, because they all compete. Waves, Trees, Matchstick, Delaney's, even more than that. <laughs> Starbucks, Horns, and even more than that. <laughs> I 
At one point in time, I was confident that I knew all the coffee chains in Vancouver. And at a party, I started labeling them off, and then they were like, nope. And they were like, what? And people were just like, Jerome, just keep going around. <laughs> As you film, you're going to see even more than what you've got on your list already. And you know what? They were right. <laughs> I was like, wow. Very humbling experience. <laughs> they got a good laugh out of it, too. <laughs> Yeah. Over here, this is the intersection of Smythe and Howe Street. And across the street, you'll see the Provincial Courthouse on this side. And then on that side, the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court. That would be the Supreme Court branch here in Vancouver. If you want the provincial courthouse, that would be over at Main and West Cordova Street in the downtown east side. Let's cross the street here and continue on how. There's that Waves coffee shop we're passing by right now. Right on over here. Nice little coffee house. It's a little busy right now. It gets really busy in the morning time, especially before the courthouse opens. A lot of people just chilling around before they go to work or picking up their coffee <laughs> after they drop their coat off at the office. Walk in here. Over here is one of the competitors, a Railtown Cafe. They do a mean uh, breakfast in there as well in the morning, as opposed to waves. They also have a lunch fair. And it's usually busy, but right now it's the end of their day. They're pretty much finishing up. I believe it's around 2.40 in the afternoon, yeah. So. They're gonna close up shop pretty soon. More of a breakfast and early lunch place. Over here is one of the brands that I missed, which is Palette Coffee Roasters. Which I should have known about because they also have a location on West Broadway Street in Fairview, just outside of Kitsilano. If I'm right, I could be. It might be in Kitsilano. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that sometime. This is the intersection of Nelson and Howe Street. And see right here just how busy it can get sometimes. This would be the after work crowd and the delivery crowd, and that would be for a 2 p.m. shift. There's multiple people that work in the financial core who have different hours for the usual 9 to 5. They'll still work the whole like 9 to 5 hours, so the 8 hour workday, but uh, they might start at a different time. So, for example, for my job, of course, I start around 4 or 5 a.m., depending on the shift in the day and if I have to go into work or not. Sometimes they'll be working to support the West Coast, which is the reason I'm out here, but other times I'll be collaborating with people anywhere across the province, including those fires on the East Coast, or <laughs> and that goes for both the Canada and the United States, so sometimes you gotta wake up early for that. And there's other people that work uh, during the Pacific hours over for Japan and stuff like that over here in town. So that's the reason they're over here. Nothing else. No like due diligence. Keep walking here. It's passing the Mets and Rooms community housing building, otherwise known as community builders transitory housing for people in need, help them get off the street.
pretty sure it's an SRO, but I could be wrong. So. <laughs> Definitely need to put a caveat in there. <laughs> Over here, we're coming up to the intersection of Pelican. And then... How? <laughs> and here's the intersection of Helmican and Howe for you. <laughs> Getting my umbrella ready just in case I have to pop it open. And we'll come back over here. This Holiday Inn over here is a a nice little place to stay. It's got good references and stuff like that. So, and that's about all I can tell you about it. <laughs> so, if you're looking for an option that at least has good references, this would be the place to be. Those lights are cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> There's your classic uh, Vancouver palm trees here. Not native to Vancouver in any way, shape, or form. It's a Northern Chinese brand of, or type of palm tree. That's become a branded symbol over here in Vancouver. <laughs> and uh, this Northern palm tree from China holds up really well to the winter weather, including up temperatures way below minus 21. Of course, it does do best in the warmer climate when it's above zero but it can sustain itself below zero. So that's why someone at one point in time in the 80s chose to bring some here and it just took off from there. Giant uh, fashion <laughs> thing for property owners and uh, symbol, general symbol for the city. Like you can find a giant Santa palm trees along Sunset Beach and um, English Bay Beach over in the West End. And then, of course, you can find those palm trees all over the city of Vancouver. And beyond throughout Metro Vancouver as well. Well, we've hit our destination here. And on over to the bus stop, so. Yeah. Let's head on over to the bus stop here. So anyways, folks, thanks for coming along today. And just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And really hit that like button. Push the video out to everyone. And if you got unsubscribed, well, resubscribe again. There's a bug going around on YouTube. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for coming along today. And have a good day.